Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. I was just browsing, basically, looking at um, videos that other people had posted, and um, I came across the uh, channel Orchid Diva currently doing a live broadcast. I thought we'll have some of that, so I got in, left a couple of comments, and it just reminded me that I haven't done one for ages, and it's dawned on me I can put quite a few things together. First of all, big thanks for the support with the um, store-bought Phalaenopsis series. That seems to have gone down incredibly well. Now, in theory, that should have been store-bought orchids, not just Phalaenopsis, because the place I got them from has normally got a selection of Oncidium types, but they had none. And it's been suggested by quite a few people that I should do a similar series on some of those. And I thought... Actually, that's not a bad idea. That's probably the second most popular group of orchids that people buy in stores. Um, a lot of the other types of orchids you, you don't come across very often. You get the Dendrobium nobilis. Um, you sometimes get a Cattleya or two. But in the main, it's Phalaenopsis backed up by the Oncidium types and the intergenerics that go in with the um, Oncidium alliance. So... Uh, Next weekend, I think I posted it in the Facebook group, I've noticed that Burnham Nurseries are off to the Welsh Orchid Festival. And um, I thought, uh, next weekend, it's on on a Saturday and a Sunday, two-day event. And I had a look on the map, and boy is that a hell of a drive. <laughs> it's a hell of a drive. Looking at... Um, well, on Google Maps it says that journey should take me about four hours. Um, it never takes me as long as what they say. I think they must go on a push bike, not a car. Um, nonetheless, it's a hell of a long drive. But I thought it's, it was probably the last big event of the year. And I'm planning on going on the Saturday. That's not a definite yet. Uh, it's a plan. Um, it would mean leaving at like six o'clock in the morning. Um, no problem with that. I'm up anyway. Um, and a long drive. A fair, fairly long day. There's some good interesting talks there. There's some people... Oh, God, hang on. So if you press the right button <coughs> that was going right all over my jeans and in those few seconds my jeans are now damp boy does that thing work well sidetracked yes so I'm seriously thinking of going it'll be a hell of a long day um, gates open at 10 that's the idea of leaving at 6 obviously I'll stop for some breakfast on the way um, and there's some interesting talks there from people I know, um, people like Trey Saunders and uh, several other people I know from the um, Orchid Society talks and other various events. So there's some people there I know. Archie's there. He's given a talk. Um, <clears throat> he's planning on a big comeback. You've heard that before. Come on, Archie, get your act together. <laughs> uh. It would be nice to have some younger people in the um, orchid community doing videos. I'm not saying we're all oldies, but a fair few of us are, like me. Um, anyway, if, if I go to this event, that would be on the Saturday. Um, there's more going on on the Saturday. And when I get back, and which will probably be uh, late in the evening, um, but on the Sunday following that, that will be the 2nd of September. Um, it might be interesting to do a live broadcast instead of my Sunday morning chat. Um, so that's the plan. Um, I will confirm nearer the time that this is all going off. Um, but it'll kill several birds with one stone because at a show like that with many traders I will be able to get some Oncidium types. I can pick out a couple Totally at random, pretty blooms, must have, that's the theory, that's the theory we're working on. I want to stick to that. Um, so instead of, you know, instead of picking over all the best plants to find the best plant there is, I'll just literally look at the top, not the pot, 
and, and pick out a couple of um, pretty blooms from one of the traders and one of the traders I'm very interested in seeing live and meeting the individual is speciotic plants are there so Zusa is going to be there um, now that's going to be interesting for me there's a lot of my plants in here have come from that um, UK seller but it's only recently they've started actually appearing live actually going to some shows and that's like an incentive to me so um, the chances are the couple of orchids that I will bring home will have come from that particular trader for me it's a trusted trader I've, I've bought a lot of plants from uh, from uh, that particular place off of eBay you know and it's for me it's become a trusted trader um, you know buying on eBay can be a bit iffy and you can get some right dodgy stuff posted um, but that for me is a for me has been a trusted trader I've got good stuff from there um, <laughs> if you want to put it into perspective my Soto Anum came from there and we all know what that's uh, performing like yeah and it didn't cost a huge amount of money so um, yeah I think I'll go off to this Welsh show despite the long drive both ways um, and it's, it's, it looks like the grounds and the um, you know the place actually where it's being held it looks like a pretty interesting place so uh, hopefully we'll get videos of what's going on um, I can't video a talk that's um, that's out of order basically but I'll, I may be attending some of them some of them I will have heard before um, at, at the Orchid Society meeting so I wouldn't bother a repeat but um, there's traders there um, there's some displays on so I should be able to get some good videos while I'm there which we can uh, deal with later in that week get those um, prepared and posted and uh, in preparation it should lead to a live broadcast on Sunday um, I think I might aim for a bit earlier this time it's, it's traditional for me in the UK to aim at six o'clock um, the idea being that the, um, the, the majority of my viewers are in the States you're looking at nine tenths of my viewers are in the States and to do a live broadcast and exclude them due to the time of day would be a bit silly on my part so by picking sort of five or six o'clock in the UK afternoon that makes it morning time over there for most of the state so uh, I think we might aim for um, five or six o'clock but I will put a confirmation post up nearer the time at the moment this is no more than a plan an idea but I don't know just watching somebody else's live broadcast it reminded me that they're actually fun <laughs> and I put a comment on and somebody immediately said you should do one <laughs> so perhaps I should and I have to bear in mind that as as the weeks and months progress I'm going to get to the point where six o'clock in the evening is going to be dark and I won't be able to do it so I do need to get get on and do one or maybe two so that's the plan an outline plan visit a orchid festival on the Saturday get a couple of Oncidium types intergeneric Oncidium Alliance types pretty blooms must have that will start a new series like the store-bought Phalaenopsis except for these won't be store-bought obviously um, but principle applies you know <laughs> at the end of the day virtually all the store-bought orchids that you get in the UK have come from the mass producers where do you think a lot of the traders get their plants from? <laughs> they buy them in bulk from the same sort of places. So they're the same plants. You might think you're buying from an orchid nursery, but if you're in that arena of the Phalaenopsis and Oncidium Alliance, the chances are they've come from the same mass producers in the EU that the others, that the store-bought ones have come from. So I'm not deviating from the theme, if you see what I mean. And then we'll start a new series, um, and we'll see how it goes. So a provisional um, visit to an orchid uh, festival, followed by a live broadcast on the Sunday, followed by starting a new series for the Oncidium Alliance and we'll go through the same processes as we did for the Phalaenopsis and um, 
we'll see how it goes. It, I presume this all sounds like a good idea. <laughs> we shall see. Anyway, thanks, thanks for dropping by. And I don't very often do this on the end of my videos like most other people do. Thanks for all the people who've subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Well, I can't even say this properly. <laughs> but thanks for your support. It's appreciated. Yeah? Um, you know, I get a lot of views on my videos from people who aren't subscribed. You don't have to subscribe. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference to the channel, quite honestly. What you get from subscribing and switching on notifications is just that you get told when I upload a video providing you're watching of course <laughs> whatever the notification process is I don't bother with all that but um, yeah so thanks for the subscribers thanks for the new people who've joined the channel hope you're enjoying it and um, yeah plenty more to come uh, including some uh, you know a, an interesting series and I did I'm sure all of you have forgotten and for new people you don't even know we've got to get back to our project plants soon this was a selected set of plants covering many of the types of plants I've got in here that get a regular update and they get a comparison to the previous set of updates <clears throat> which is a bit of a faff for me to do but I enjoy doing it so we'll be looking at individual plants as they were last time we did the project updates and comparing them with as they are now. Now that needs to kick back in now. Um, soon that will be. It's the same set of plants and um, <laughs> unless I've lost any or <laughs> I haven't given any away. But yeah we need to get the project plants updates going again. Because the final set of project plant updates will be around December time and that will be a year's worth and when I do that update I'll be comparing with the first update we did for the project plants which would have been last December so we'll be looking at them a year ago at the moment we'll be looking at them from the previous update so uh, yeah we need to get the project plants going as well so lots to come uh, lots in mind and uh, lots of things to look forward to both for me and hopefully for yourselves and again thanks for the support for the channel see you next time bye for now oh and I must say those colors do not go well together <laughs> I'd have done much I mean the band has just been watered so it's just hanging there before I put it back up in its place but it would be, it would have been much better if it was near that one wouldn't it <laughs> the ne next to purple purple and orange are not the best two colors <laughs> nonetheless um, I'll add on we've had several ideas from my tiny little delicate bulb of film as to what it might be and none of them are right so far I don't know what it is and I'm not even fussed to find out it's not what it was supposed to be that's for sure but um, yeah we've had some suggestions but um, you know, as as orchid gen genus genesis genera go, uh, bulbar films are not hugely popular. So there's an awful lot of people that grow orchids that haven't got any. Um, the only person I know that's got an incredible amount of knowledge with this particular genus is Archie. Um, if he ever gets back on YouTube again, um, yeah, for a youngster one hell of an amount of knowledge especially about this particular genus <laughs> uh, if it's still in bloom I might take it along next weekend and poke it under his nose and say oi what's this <laughs> yeah. I doubt if that'll happen but uh, anyway see you next time thanks for dropping by and as usual with me just added on the end afterthought um, a big thank you to Dina or Dinah Hughes for suggesting the Phalaenopsis series because it's not something I would have thought of on my own sometimes I do need some help with ideas and quite honestly that's one of the best ideas that has come up for a very long time so a big thank you and that's your shout out that you asked for <laughs> see you next time